proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up. All right. Hey everybody, Shamakin is here alongside none other than Greg Kasavin here to tell us about Bastion, one of my personally most anticipated role-playing games of the year. Greg, just to go back in the way back machine for a moment, you know, we've seen a lot of Bastion lately, but you're sort of the expert in the, uh, the early days of the game. When you first saw this game, what convinced you to get on board with, uh, with the team at Supergiant and just sort of, you know, hitch your wagon to this game? Yeah, well, so I, I was uh, friends and, in fact, roommates with these guys, like, before the company even started. So I knew a lot about it before, um, before it was, you know, while well, it was still uh, a sparkle in, in our eyes. Um, and then, you know, these guys, they formed the company at the uh, Gavin and Amir, the co-founders of Supergiant Games. Uh, they founded the company in um, September of 2009. Uh, basically, dropped everything, moved into a house, and like got to work. And I like, I like, I got a wife and kids and stuff. I couldn't like, it was it was a sacrifice I I couldn't do. Um, so uh, thankfully, you know, about a year later, we were able to reunite and we're still you know close close friends and everything. Because uh, for me, it was. It was an opportunity to like realize, you know, the story that I've had in my mind, and just kind of get in there and do all the stuff I've I've wanted to do since I got into game development and even longer. It's like level design and writing and all this stuff. Um, so yeah, this project uh, couldn't be closer to my heart, really. And as anybody who's ever read some of your uh, your old reviews on Gamespot, you were quite a RPG aficionado. Can you talk about how this game fits in with what you've always loved about the genre? and what you've always wanted to do differently with it? Yeah, I, I mean, in terms of what I love about the genre, it's it's probably two, it's like two or three things. It's like, it's, I think uh, it's a genre that can deliver story really well because by getting you very attached to like a fully realized world. Um, it's, it's a genre in which uh, you could get really attached to the gameplay as well because you start building up, kind of investing in your character, investing in a certain play style, um, things like that. And it's also like, RPGs, I think, at their best are like pretty big games, right? Where there, there's a lot to explore, but there are a lot of interesting choices to make. So we try to do all that stuff, uh, but in but in different ways. Uh, we did try to like distill down the RPG uh, to the essence of a lot of those things. So it's not necessarily like you're finding you know loot with like tons and tons of properties and like uh, spending a ton of time reading. Um, instead, it, it just uh, having lots of really interesting kind of binary uh, choices to make all along the way, and then introducing new types of choices. Um, having lots of mysteries to uncover and and making the player feel immersed in into this world that we've created like we we, we miss games that try to set out and create their own new world because most most stuff isn't new these days uh, so we wanted to kind of do it our own way and and uh, try this uh, kind of uh, this world of ours and see what people thought and they seem to dig it so far now people might already be familiar with the game with the previous coverage that we've done for Bastion. In fact, we had you on Today on the Spot a few months back. Uh, but you're actually showing a new demo here today. Can you talk about this new content that you're showing today and how it compares with some of the coverage that's already out of the game so far? Yeah, sure. Um, so we are we are showing the prologue of the game um, again, which is uh, a version of which we showed uh, on, on GameSpot before. This is like sort of the fully polished and completed uh, version of it. Um, so there's some new like audio and stuff like that, but for the most part, um, it's it's the gateway into the game. Um, teaches you, you know, you learn all about what's going on in the story and how to play and all that. Uh, we also wanted to show a, a new sequence from the game um, and showing like one of the never before seen environments to give the impression that in fact this game does go like a lot farther than the stuff that you see at the beginning. And this is an area called uh, Rothus Lagoon, which is uh, uh, deeper into the game. You can tell immediately that this is not sort of the the ruined city environment that you start the game in. It's more uh, out there in what we call the wild unknown, uh, filled with these uh, various uh, strange beasts and man-eating plants and things like that. So it shows um, some of the direction we go in, um, in, you know, both in terms of the the art style and the environments, uh, the types of challenges, uh, the the types of things you fight, um, and hopefully, you know, it'll get your mind uh, spinning about like, man, they they go pretty far out there in this game because we do uh, intend for it to be this grand adventure and to keep uh, building on, you know, uh, some of the some of the ideas we introduce early on. Um, the the other thing is, yeah, we, we give you like new weapons to play with, and the moment to moment action in this game is a big deal. Um, so we give you things like our, our scrap musket, which is basically a shotgun, um, and something called the war machete, which is this like super fast sword. So like early on in the game, you might expect that the game is all just kind of medieval weapons, hammers, and bows. But yeah, when you start running around with a shotgun in an action RPG, it feels pretty different. 
All right, Greg, sounds good. When are people actually going to be able to play with that shotgun in this RPG? Yeah, well, Bastion is uh, nearly finished and will be out this summer on Xbox Live Arcade and then PC later this year. Thanks a lot, Greg. Thank you. There you guys have it. That's your update on Bastion.